The second type of uh, business entity that can be used by a, a business owner is a general partnership. Uh, general partnership means that there is more than one owner. A sole proprietorship, of course, is limited to one owner. It cannot be more than one owner. If it has more than one owner, it becomes a partnership. Uh, partnerships can be formed with very little expense, but they do run a, or create a very great risk of personal liability, not only for your own business transactions, but also for the business transactions of your partners, the other owners of the business. First, a comment about the formation of new partnerships. There is no requirement that it be in writing. There is no requirement that the partners have a formal written agreement to create a partnership. In fact, some of the scariest situations with the biggest liabilities happen because people shake hands, they decide to go into business together, and they never ever get around to putting anything in writing about who owns the business or how the profits will be divided or how the business will be handled. And then when they get into disputes, it's treated as a partnership by the courts and it's treated as the partners are, uh, have personal liability for all the debts of the partnership. So the better practice is to have some kind of partnership agreement in place. Uh, the partnership agreement should spell out the rights of the partners. How will the profits be divided? How will the business be managed? How will decisions be made? Where will the books be kept? Who can uh, make loans or borrow money in the name of the partnership? Should also spell out the duties of the partners. Of course, partners have a duty of good faith and fair dealing to each other. They must exercise reasonable care in performing their business. And they must provide the other partners with a complete accounting of the business. And it should spell out the powers of the partners. What authority do they have or not have? The Uniform Partnership Act is kind of an unusual act. Typically, if people enter an agreement but don't agree on all the essential terms, the courts will not enforce the agreement. Partnership situations are an exception to that because the Uniform Partnership Act is used to fill in the holes of that agreement. So even, the, even though the partners may not have decided how to divide the profits, the Uniform Partnership Act is going to tell them how they're going to divide the profits. Essentially, under the Act, each partner receives an equal share of the uh, uh, profits. The liabilities of partners is, is the reason I don't like partnerships is the risk of liability. Uh, not only is the owner responsible for liability for their own conduct, but they become liable for the conduct of their partners. So perhaps you have a partner who borrows money in the name of the partnership. That now becomes a personal liability of the other partners. And that's why I don't think it's a useful uh, uh, entity in the context of a chiropractic practice. Most partnerships are general partnerships. The state laws also allow creations of limited partnerships. The limited partnerships require somewhat more formality to create, and although they can create some limited liability, there's also a risk that if the person seeking limited liability is involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the business, that, op that, uh, that involvement in the day-to-day -day operations of the business waives the limited liability. So that's a, a risk that I, I think it just doesn't make sense in a business that has multiple owners, uh, the best practice is to take the extra steps to uh, set up a corporation or a limited liability company, which I'll talk about in, in the next couple of videos. The uh, uh, dissolution of a partnership, if partners decide to close the business, they don't just get to keep all the assets. They have to pay the creditors first. And then after the creditors are paid, if there's anything left over, the partners get to divide what's left over. Uh, it's a good practice to issue a public notice when a partnership is dissolved. It's a simple little legal classified ad in the newspaper that says we're no longer partners and we're no longer liable for each other's debts. The partnership is a separate entity. Uh, that means the partnership can be sued 
and property should be held in the name of the partnership. It shouldn't be held in the names of the individual partners. It should be held in the name of the business. Like a sole proprietorship, the partnership needs to file an assumed name certificate in the uh, county clerk's records. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the partnership agreement is supplemented by the Partnership Act. If there's any gaps in the agreement, any terms or things that weren't decided, uh, then the Partnership Act kicks in. It's very easy to create a partnership. Uh, it can be in writing or it can just be an oral discussion between the partners. Or sometimes there's no discussion at all. They simply just start to operate the business as co-owners. And that in and of itself is enough to create a partnership. It doesn't make any difference whether the partners call it a partnership or try to use some other name a joint venture, a joint enterprise, a business agreement, a sponsorship agreement, whatever else they call it, it still falls into the category of being a partnership act if there's more than one owner and they're engaged in business for the purpose of generating a profit. Partnerships can also be created by estoppel. We talked a little bit about this when I in the video on subleasing and office sharing arrangements. If the uh, even though the, the business owners have created separate businesses, if they hold themselves out to the public or they create an appearance to the public that they are one business, then they create a partnership by estoppel. The partnership creates unlimited personal liability. And this is the biggest reason why I think partnerships are almost never a good idea. They're easy to create, they're inexpensive, but that unlimited personal liability, to me at least, is just unacceptable. The profits are divided equally unless the partners have decided otherwise. Uh, the partners have equal rights to manage the business. Uh, unless they make some kind of decision to resolve deadlocks, that runs the risk that the partnership, the business, uh, if the partners have different opinions about what the business should do, the partnership is, is frozen and unable to do anything. The partners themselves do not receive any wages or salaries. What they receive is a portion of the profits. That's their income, not a, not a salary and not a wage. Uh, the partners owe a duty of loyalty to, to each other and to the partnership. They must provide a full accounting of all business transactions. They can't just show up at the end of the day and say, hey, here's how much money I made. They need to explain how they made it, where it came from, who the customers are, etc. cetera. Uh, they cannot in enter into agreements that create a conflict of interest. Um, the partner needs to keep the interest of the partnership first and foremost. They can't have some other business dealing that creates a conflict between their loyalty to the partnership in their loyalty to some other business. A duty of loyalty also means you can't compete with the partnership while the partnership exists. But once the partnership is dissolved, the partners are free to compete against each other. And lastly, the partners owe a duty of good faith and fair dealing. That is the highest burden under law uh, between the partners. Uh, and that is something that, that creates some potential liabilities if the partners are not being fair with each other, if they're not being honest with each other, uh, it can create problems and, and disputes. Uh, my experience with partnerships is that they're rarely appropriate because of that risk of unlimited liability. So even though it's a very cheap way to start your business, if you have multiple owners, it makes more sense to pool your money and to figure out how to set up a corporation or a limited liability company rather than trying to do it through a partnership.